Hello, beautiful friends. This is the Organizer Advisor here to help you enhance your happiness and transform your life. So go grab your water-based beverage. So we have our little message in a moment. So today I'm drinking herb tea with some collagen. So let's get started. Happy Monday. This is an amazing week. I'm so excited because we're starting a whole new month. So today is July 31st. I want to wish my dad a happy birthday for yesterday was his 83rd birthday. So happy birthday, dad. Love you so much. Okay, so I just got back from a trip seeing my brand new baby grandson. His name is Towns. And so I was able to take a little bit of a trip. So um, hopefully you guys had a wonderful weekend. Now, being that this is the end, beginning of a new month, I just want to give you a review of our end of the month or beginning of the month reset, whatever time of the month you do it. Um, I like to combine mine with fiscal fasting so that I make sure that I get all of my little end of the month uh, sequences in so I start my new month fresh. So some of the things that I do to either close out a month or open a month, it just depends on how you want to time it. Um, I purge the pantry. I do that during my fiscal fast. So fiscal fast, if you don't know what that is, check out the video and the um, uh, playlist on YouTube. But basically it's a week that I set aside where I kind of reduce any unnecessary spending. I don't go out for a lot of, you know, uh, dinners or lunches. I try to stay at home and eat. That's the week I kind of clean my house a little bit deeper cleaning. It's like my end of the month cleaning. So I have a clean house to start a new month. Um, but I purge the pantry. That means I go through and I look at any ingredient that I haven't used. So particularly focusing on dairy, um, vegetables, fruits, condiments, anything that might expire soon because I want to make sure I'm capitalizing on that so that I save money on my food budget. So I go through and I make a menu. We do this every Sunday, but I plan a menu using those ingredients that I have on hand. That way, everything in my pantry is fresh. It's inspiring. I pick out a couple of great um, uh, recipes that I want to really work on, and that gives me um, some uh, kind of like a clean slate in my refrigerator, freezer, and my pantry so that I have fresh food, some fresh ideas, and I'm eating healthy, but I'm saving money. Also, um, another thing that you want to do at the beginning or the end of the month, but clean or change your HVAC filter. This is going to save you money on your air conditioning or heating, but it's also going to make your air that you breathe in your home healthier because it's going to trap some of the hair, dirt, dander, and dust. Um, so clean it if you have a reusable one. If you don't, you can change it. So I do that once a month. That's kind of industry standard and recommend recommended, but it's really going to help keep your house cleaner. I like to sprinkle a few drops of pet safe essential oils. That way it makes my whole house smell good. I do the same thing for my vacuum cleaner. I clean my vacuum cleaner. I empty out the storage, the um, debris storage, but I also wash the filter, put a little essential oil on there, make sure it's pet friendly so that my whole house smells clean when I'm vacuuming. Plus it traps more dirt, more dog hair, pet hair, dander, and all the debris that circulate in the air in your home. Okay, so Another thing that I like to do is I like to change my toothbrush. I change it at the beginning of every month. That is going, a new toothbrush is going to clean your teeth better. It's going to exercise your gums. It's going to increase your gum and mouth health. And you can use coupons to buy new toothbrushes so you can actually save money. Um, if you use coupons and store sales, you can get them very inexpensively. But this is going to help enhance our dental health. Um, another thing that you may want to consider as we transition into a new month is your car maintenance. Does your oil need to be changed? Has your car been cleaned and vacuumed recently? 
Um, you know, is there any kind of monthly maintenance that you do that you might need to just kind of remember that needs to be done? Maybe clean your air filter for your car as well. Um, I clean out my grab and go binder. So that grab and go binder, if you don't know what that is, I have a whole video on it on, on the playlist on the YouTube channel under document organization. That grab and go binder is a wonderful strategy. It's a binder that we keep kind of by our purse or by the door. It houses our receipts for anything we buy during the month. So that way if we have to return something, we know where that receipt is. It houses any kind of claim ticket for um, dry cleaning, medications. If you have prescriptions that need to be filled, I put them in my grab and go binder. That way when I'm out running errands, I can just take that binder. I have everything I need to run my errands. Nothing is forgotten at home. I save time, I save money, and I'm not nearly as frustrated. And I save fuel because I'm not driving back and forth. And for me, it's a long way to town. It's about 20 minutes to get to town. So if I'm in running errands and I forget something, the, fuels, the fuel costs really add up when I have to run back and pick something up that I've forgotten. Another thing that I like to do as we transition into a new month is it called change exchange. So if you have a bunch of change that you've collected, like when you every nook and cranny cleaned your couch or you, you know, clean out your purse every Sunday and you put that change in a um, dedicated space and that your family kind of collects it and you cleaned out your car and you found a bunch of change, if you have a significant amount, you may want to take it to a Coinstar kiosk and I like Coinstar because they give me the option to get an e-coupon. That means they don't charge me anything to exchange my change. Um, so I get an e-coupon, which is a gift certificate to um, several restaurants, um, all kinds of opportunities to save money where you're not paying to exchange your change. Okay, um, filing the pile. So at the end of the month when we've paid all of our bills and we have this little basket, we keep all of our... Um, um, monthly bills that we've paid and we're ready to file them, then I file the piles. That way everything's filed at the end of the month. There's no more pile accumulating all over the house. I know where everything is. So if I have a question or a, a payment didn't get credited, I can go back to the payments uh, stub. I can look at the date I paid it, the check number, but I know where that stub is. So it's filed. Everything's organized. Check. Um, I also go through my coupons. Now, if you don't know about my coupons money, my coupon strategies that save money, check out the video on the playlist on YouTube about coupons. This is a great strategy. Unless you're an extreme couponer, this is going to work for most households. But I have a two um, coupon organizer system. And I have one coupon organizer, which is for coupons that are going to expire in the next 30 days. That way I focus on using those so I can save that money. But I also have an organizer that organizes the coupons that are going to expire in the next 90 days or longer. That way, if I see something on sale, but I know I have a coupon, then I can go to that coupon and really capitalize the savings. Now, I like to take my... Um, coupon organizers. I go through all the coupons that are going that I have in my long-term coupon organizing um, device and then I pull out the ones that are going to expire in the next month. So for us that would be anything that's going to expire in the month of August and I put them in my coupons that are going to expire within the 30-day period. That way I can focus on those. I can even make a menu based upon those but I can really use my store loyalty coupons or my store loyalty cards, my coupons, as well as store sa savings flyers to really extend my grocery budget. Speaking of budgets, that's another thing that I do. I take a look at my budget. Now, I just want to say, I like to pay myself for all the work that I've done to save money during the month. This is savings from my fiscal fasting. This is refunds that I've got. This is money from coupons that I've saved. You know, you can get that on your receipt, how much money you save in coupons. This is how much money I save in store loyalty. This is how much money that I have um, I have made if I've sold something I no longer want on Marketplace or on eBay or on Etsy. 
So all of that goes into a special account called the savings savings account. So I like to go through my coupons and my grab and go or my, I'm sorry, my receipts and my grab and go binder. I look at all the savings. I tally it all up and I deposit that money my money that I've worked for because I've saved. Saving money does take work, but I like to reward myself. So the money that I use um, that in that saving savings account, I use it for like a, a vacation or I can use it to buy something that I really have been saving for. I can use it for something for my family. I can also use it for like a holiday um, account where I use all that money to buy holiday gifts. So don't forget to reward yourself for all the money saving strategies that you're working so that you save money, it really adds up. Remember, I bought this cottage with money that I saved over about 15 years from coupons, from store loyalty cards, from gift cards, from selling things. I was able to put all of that money in an account and over a certain amount of time, I was able to save that money and buy this cottage mortgage free. Okay, so um, another thing is medications, refills for you and your pets. So if you have medications that you need to get refilled, you may want to check your medications. If you're getting low, go ahead and call for those refills before you run out. So if you do this every 30 days, you're going to keep up with your meds. It's going to enhance your health and do the same thing for your pets. Their flea and tick meds or whatever meds they have check and make sure that you don't need a refill. Also, speaking of our beloved pets, um, it is time for their monthly medications. So their heartworm, their worming medications, their flea and tick preventative. So I kind of like to do the end of the month transition to start a new month fresh with fresh pet bedding. I like to wash their leashes and collars, dishes, toys. I like to sterilize their toys any habitats like for the birds I like to go ahead and get those clean but this way your pet I bathe them do their nails clean their ears brush their teeth so that they're getting enhanced care so that we show how much we love them with these end of the month freshening tips okay lastly I think hold on yep lastly it's, I like to go ahead and prep for gift cards or gifts um, for the upcoming month. So uh, August is birthday month in my family, my mom's birthday, my birthday, my dad just had a birthday, my brother just had a birthday. So I like to have those gifts and gifts cards already prepared in advance so that I don't feel like I'm behind and I'm not running around at eight o'clock the last night before to make sure that I have a gift. So if you have greeting cards that you need to send, maybe a baby, a graduation, an anniversary, um, a birthday, you may want to go ahead and get those greeting cards. Go ahead and sign them, address them, put a stamp on them. And I like to write just on a little post-it note the date I need to send them out to make sure they arrive on time. So those are our monthly steps. Now, here's something just a little additional. I know it, that's a lot already, but I like to just look at um, my vitamins and supplements and make sure I'm not running low on something because I want to make sure I have what I need when I need it. Uh, same thing for toiletries. I want to make sure that I have deodorant, toothpaste, shampoo, lotion, conditioner, shaving cream, whatever your family uses. If you're already running low, you've used those almost empties and you're probably on your last bottle of shampoo, then go ahead and put it on your shopping list to make sure you pick it, pick it up so you don't run out. Uh, same thing with like toilet paper and um, let's go ahead and look at our cleaning products. Check, and I call it check and assess. If you're running low on something, the time to buy it is when you're doing your weekly shopping instead of having to run out for a special trip to pick up something that you ran out of. Um, I also do the same thing with my makeup and pet needs, office supplies, uh, craft and holiday supplies kitchen needs anything that you just kind of you know as you're going through and you're like oh i need to remember to get you know packing tape for wrapping some packages or sending packages i need to get stamps so that i can mail my bills on time all of these proactive steps are going to make you feel empowered it's going to help facilitate your success and it's just a good practice to get into so that you don't feel 
behind and overwhelmed. All right, so that is our um, transition. I do have a video about this on the YouTube channel where I archive everything so that it's a resource for you anytime you need it. All the videos have been put into playlist. So there's day by day, step by step. If you wanna start an every nook and cranny cleaning total life organization on your time, it's all there. Now, let's talk about our, um, our togas for today, which are our normal everyday things that we're working on in order to enhance our happiness and transform our life. Okay, you can tell the color. We're restructuring our closet, creating this rainbow closet. We are at the end. This is our last week. So the colors for this week are gonna be whites, beiges, and browns. So you can see I have my beige on. Remember your accessories too. Make sure that you um, kind of gather all of those items of that color, put them front and center in your closet, systematically wear them, launder them, get them back in ready to wear condition back in the closet so our entire wardrobe is in ready to wear condition. We have purged what doesn't work for us. We know what makes us look and feel fabulous. And so now we can start to really maximize and capitalize on that investment in our wardrobe. We can find what we need when we need it and that reduces the getting dressed stress. Okay, also we are every nook and cranny cleaning, thematic organizing, one room a week in our home. Yesterday we started on the living room, family room, which is this room for me. Started with the ceiling in order to clean that acoustical um, texture on the ceiling. Make sure you wear eye protection. And then also we focused on the north wall. We're using the, what I call the compass row strategy. This means we focus on one wall at a time and we only clean what's on that wall. So we clean woodwork, baseboards, uh, windows, curtains, upholstery, any storage device. We hydrate our wood. All of this is in the playlist on the YouTube channel. So all you have to do is go to every nook and cranny cleaning playlist. Everything is there. How to clean a ceiling fan, how to clean your light fixtures, how to clean baseboards and woodwork, how to clean a storage, how to organize. Everything's there for you. If you have questions, I'm always happy to answer them. So today we're going to work on the east wall. I have no east wall, so I have a day off that I'm spending making this video for you. So east wall today, and that is pull everything away from the wall, clean the woodwork, clean the flooring, uh, dust behind the any furniture that you can move safely by yourself. If you cannot move it on your own, please don't. Just dust behind it with your microfiber wand. And yes, there's a video on that too. Um, also, we want to thematically organize the items in this room. So most often in the living room, you're going to have magazines, you're going to have books, you're going to have um, some sort of electronics. This is probably going to be your TV, gaming system, audio visual, your DVDs, possibly CDs if you have a stereo system, surround sound. So we're going to organize all those and you betcha there is a video on the playlist for everything you might find in this room. So I hope you have fun. Remember today is Monday. This is our facial day. So you can give yourself a facial when you're finished so that you spend that time for self-care. One last thing that I wanted to mention, um, oh, our other health and beauty routines, make sure that you exercise, um, hydrate, take time for stillness. So maybe when you're doing your facial, take a little time to just shut down your brain, shut down your body in relaxation mode and just give yourself 15 minutes of stillness. Um, take vitamins and supplements if you subscribe to that practice and take care of yourself. Lastly, today we finish our Everything I Love About My Life book. Um, this is a little collection that we started at the beginning of July so that we could write down every day something we loved about our lives. It could be a gratitude journal if you want to call it that. But what this is for is when you start to feel frustrated, overwhelmed, sad, um, you know, you've just having one of those bad days. Uh, you can get into a mindset of negative self-talk, feeling very inadequate and overwhelmed, and you're taking life circumstances seriously and personally. Sometimes we want to catch ourselves 
and gives, give ourselves something to remember all of the good things in our lives, the things that make us happy, that bring us joy, that are uplifting to us. So you can review this. I keep this by my bedside. So you can review it right before bed, or you can review it when you're down in the doldrums and you're just kind of feeling low. It's going to help uplift you as you remember all of the blessings that you have in your life that make you happy. That is the quickest way I know to pull you out of that negative feedback loop of feeling overwhelmed and frustrated. Okay, so that is our day today. Sorry so long. I'm going to recap these during the week. Um, actually, tomorrow, I'm taking another trip this week on Wednesday. I'm going to take my grandson. Um, he and I are going to go do something special together for his Maj and me trip. My, grand, my grandkids call me Maja instead of Grandma or Granny or Nana. I'm Maja. So it's a Maja and me trip, and we are going to go do something fun. I will try and connect with you live, but if I don't, um, I will see you back here. I'll see you tomorrow, but I'll also see you back here next Sunday. So have a wonderful Monday, and I'll see you in the next video.